I have a picture. Yeah, this is from your friend Aska Alfi. Yeah, it's yeah. it's with normal with a Roma shirt. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> it is national Indonesia. Yeah, no. national Indonesia. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, no, I'm, I'm talking about the yeah. official pictures, like with the Roma shirt. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Kembali lagi di Discord, diskusi olahraga bareng Raja dan Donzo. Akhirnya airnya nggak jadi rais sekarang. Dan kali ini skor Indonesia sudah bersama Raja Nenggolan. Hello, bro. Oh, you very tired ya? Huh? After coaching ini, kan? Eh? Yeah, yeah, very tired. Yeah. No, it's it's about the jet lag. It's not about the coaching. Oh, okay. Hello, Sabrina. Hi. Congrats for DKI. Thank you. Going to pon ya. Yeah? <laughs> Uh, finally, you come back to Indonesia again, and now Indonesia uh, hosts Under-17 World Cup. Uh, and what do you think about uh, benefit for Indonesia uh, for the host uh, uh, Under-17 World Cup? No, I think it's a, a big opportunity. I think uh, not every country can organize such an event. So I think if Indonesia already can organize something like this, I think it's something special uh, for the people I think even for uh, even the, the clubs and the players that comes to Indonesia and play the World Cup I think uh, not a lot of people came to Indonesia and they know Indonesia so it's always a new uh, a new thing to learn and I think Indonesia has a lot of possibilities to offer and I think it's pleased by the persons that will visit it oh, okay and Sabrina uh, we know about uh a lot of talent in Indonesia, you know, uh, from Aceh until Papua. And what do you think about Indonesian football uh, in youth development? I think it's definitely growing. There's lots of opportunities. And since there's a stepping stone and now that we're holding the FIFA World Cup, they're hopefully within years of times, it'll grow and only become better for the future. Yeah, under seven World Cup established from uh, 1985. Uh, what do you expect uh, from this competition in Indonesia about uh, all players, all young young players? Uh, what do you expect uh, for them? Because we from know the team Indonesia. From yeah, yeah, team. Uh, all, 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 all players, the all the team. Because uh, there is Jets Prabegra, Tony Cross from yeah. this competition. Yeah, I played, I played as well in all the young teams of national team of Belgium, and honestly, I think every player plays football to become a first uh, national team player but you have to pass those those steps in the career and i think uh, it's a nice opportunity if you play that 16 years or 19 years or 20 years or 30 years it's still a world cup so i think representing your country at any age is something to be proud of and like i said for me Playing a World Cup is always something special and there will be a lot of scouts and there will be a lot of uh, people from all over the world to watch those players because the age is the right age to become a professional good football player. And it's an important thing for players of, of that kind of age. Uh, Sabrina, football is very dynamic sport. Uh, yes. What do you think about the improvement of your football, especially uh, in Indonesia? Uh, you know, uh, we have a EPA, Elite Pro Academy. What do you think about Indonesian football in uh, generally? Um, for women's or men's? Uh, for men's. Uh, for because, men's. Because we know women's only. Uh, yeah, only tournament or only yeah. Uh, yeah, big one. Um, so because obviously I'm not a man, I don't yeah. know too much about how the development has been growing since back then, but I can defi definitely see a change mm -hmm. and it is growing since the senior now they're going into the qualifications for the World Cup as well, yeah. right? So hopefully only with so many, so many things like this and events, it'll only grow bigger and become stronger as well. And there will be lots of opportunities for younger players to be more inspired and motivated to become better players and hopefully go na go international as well. Yeah. And we are preparation in Germany. Eh? Yeah, so that about was, two, yeah, yeah that was cool. Months. Two yes. months. Yeah. Raja, uh, let's talk about you now, about uh, your career, because 
we know you since young going to uh, Italy. Uh, what do you think about uh, uh, football in Europe uh, when your career began? I think it's the dream of every young guy to play in the highest leagues in Europe because I think that's the most followed. These are the most followed competitions in all over the world. Mm -hmm. And for me, playing even in the second league in Italy was already something special because as a young guy from Belgium, coming not from an easy uh, childhood, for me it was an opportunity to go and chase my dreams and going to Italy at the, at the age of 16 and becoming a football player, a real football player at the age of 20, 21, I think it was hard in the beginning, but it was all worth it. So. For me, playing in the Serie A for a long time was something special and that is something that no one can take away from me. Yeah, because you play in Cagliari, Piacenza, Inter Milan and AS Roma. Uh, could you please tell me uh, your favorite, uh, maybe, uh, teammates and coach when you play in Italy? I had a lot of good coaches. I had a lot of good players around me. I had a lot of good... I made a lot of good friends as well. and. I think my best period was um, in Roma. I, I, I talked professionally, um, but I'm. They, they they write a lot of things around about me that I'm so, sometimes a difficult guy. That's true. Sometimes I'm a difficult guy, but I think I got a great heart because I still hear players from the beginning from in Italy. Like when I was 16 mm -hmm. till now, I hear the same players from 17, 18 years back. So I think I uh, made a lot of friendships and that makes it in, uh, more important for me. The best coach I had was Paletti because Paletti for me was like the, um, the guy that in making football um, popular, you know. Um, he likes to play offensive football, he likes to play and to make, be make, to make play uh, players better. So I think that was my best coach and like teammates, I had a lot of good teammates. I played with Francesco Totti, I played with De Rossi, yeah. I played with Zeko, I played with Salah, I played with Rudiger. I can name a lot of them. And all, they, all of them, they became friends because I still keep in touch with them. Yeah. And like I said, for me, um, football is more like a family. It's not only about competition and stuff because you're more at the club than at your own place. So. You have to make a good um, connection with everyone because at the end the results becomes just the, of of how the team is stick together, you know. Okay, Sabrina, what club you favorite in Italy? You 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 play football. And don't you... say Juventus. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't really follow the Italian yeah. league, but <laughs> one of the popular ones would probably be Inter Milan. Okay, you play in Inter Milan too, yeah? You play Inter Milan too. And any plan you play in Asia, maybe Indonesia, because you have a, a good uh, connection in here. And you know Indonesia is a lot of uh, supporters. Honestly, I would love to, to play in Indonesia. Like now I'm, a, I'm at an age that maybe I will play two, three more years. And like, a, like a, I'm really thinking about moving somewhere I'm without a team, so I can go everywhere. But I think it's important as well to, to bring some kind of players that had a big career to Indonesia, to make it even more interested for people from, from the outside, you know? Yeah. That they can watch and see how the football is in Indonesia, because maybe that's the thing that's missing. Mm -hmm. Okay, Sabrina, uh, we know about Indonesian national team mm -hmm. under coach Bima Sakti. Uh, now um, we play in Friday uh, with Ecuador. Uh, how about the chance uh, Indonesia going through to a uh, knockout round? Well, obviously, there's so many factors within football that can happen, right? Yeah. It could be from the wasit, from different days. Like sometimes the players have their good days, have their bad days. Yeah. So it really depends on the situation and on the day of the player and how they're feeling at the same time. Mm -hmm. But obviously everyone wants them to reach the knockouts, so hopefully they do. Yeah. But um, I cannot say much about that because yeah. it's probability. You have a, a favorite players from Indonesian national team now. You know about uh, the players? I don't know too much about the U17 team, yeah. um, but I do know the senior teams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You, uh, what, who, who is uh, your favorite players? In the senior team. <laughs> the national, national Indonesian. Um, 
I would probably say Asnawi. Asnawi is Asnawi. good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now uh, I have a picture. This is from your friend Aska Alfi. Yeah, it's yeah. it's with normal with a Roma shirt. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> it is national Indonesia. Yeah, no. National Indonesia. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, no, I'm, I'm talking about the yeah. official pictures, like with the Roma shirt. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe you can sign him. Yeah, of course. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Okay, maybe uh, this is last question about uh, this uh, under seven World Cup. Which country will be champions for both of you? Eh? <laughs> but honestly, I don't follow the. It's too young to follow, you know. I don't know yeah. whether the good teams, but I think in that when I was 17, 16, 17, I was playing against the good teams. I think France is a good team always. The other teams of France are always good, so I think yeah, maybe France. I don't know. France, yeah. Okay, France. Okay, Sabrina. Um, obviously, we hope Indonesia wins. <laughs> <laughs> Semoga mereka bisa menang, yeah. tapi um, Spain. Spain. Yeah. Okay, uh, because uh, uh, we have. Who's the favorite? Me, me. No, who is the favorite? Uh, the Brazil, uh, number one in uh, cannonball. And then uh, Ecuador is uh, runner up, uh, and then uh, France, yeah, France, and England. England. I know the the yacht, the young teams of uh, France are always good. Yeah, the, always. The good. Teams, so. Okay, Raja, Sabrina, thanks for your time. Uh, please take a rest because you're very very tired. No, no. no, no. <laughs> Sabrina, I'm tired of eating too much. Oh. Hari kemarin makan dulu. Makan dulu ya, Sabrina. Yeah. Makasih ya. Yeah, makasih yeah, makasih yeah. banyak untuk uh, jadi brand ambassador ya. Ya. Untuk U17, uh, sukses untuk uh, semuanya biar lancar. Terima kasih, Amin. Oke, okay, Skorer, jangan lupa like, comment, share, dan subscribe untuk channel Skor Indonesia. Juga tentunya follow Instagram semua akun sosial media dari Skor Indonesia. Saya Dumi Zola, Raja Nenggolan, Sabrina Disner.